In this uh, video, we will be talking about mitotic poisons and cancer. We have already seen what are mitogens. Mitogens are those substances, uh, substances which stimulate or trigger mitotic division. So mitotic poisons would be those substances which are going to inhibit the cell division. So these are substances which are going to either stop or slow down the mitotic division. Inhibit mitotic division. And we will take a couple of these uh, chemicals or substances and see how and where would they affect this division process. The first example of mitotic poison can be azide or cyanide. These two poisons stop the mitotic division in prophase. Stop the division in prophase. The second one is colchicine. Colchicine stops the mitotic division in metaphase. Many a times questions have been asked about these stages and these poisons. So they can ask a question like azide would stop the division during or in or would arrest in. So the stages are very important and the names of these poisons. Colchicine is important because of two reasons. One, it is a mitotic poison and secondly, it arrests cell division in metaphase. The reason why it arrests cell division is it does not let the spindle fiber form in the metaphase. So it basically stops the spindle fiber formation spindle fiber formation in metaphase and we have seen what all happens during all these stages so in metaphase the chromosomes uh, come on the equatorial plane and now after this they would get separated during anaphase but the chromosome uh, DNA replication has already taken place the chromatin uh, that is sister chromatids they are attached at the centromere that means chromosome number is also double DNA number is also double and that results into polyploidy so one we can use it to arrest cell division in this because it does not let the spindle fiber formation take place in metaphase but because of this thing happening the cell becomes polyploid so in case if during certain experimentation, if we want a polyploid to be developed, then colchicine is used to obtain polyploids. So this is one application or use of colchicine. And the second is, it is also used to obtain polyploids. Basically, polyploids are obtained because of the same problem or same reason. If they don't let the spindle fiber formation take place, then the chromosomes will not separate. And the single cell would have double, that is instead of 2N, 4N number of chromosomes. So that would be polyploid. Colchicine is obtained from a plant called Colchica autumnale. This is the name of the plant. And this chemical is obtained from the corn of this plant. From the corn. Corn is the underground stem. So from this, the substance is obtained. And it has significant role in obtaining polyploids. Another toxic substance or mitotic poison can be mustard gas. Another can be carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide affects or stops mitotic division because 
it stops Krebs cycle. So its effect is actually indirect. So carbon dioxide would stop mitosis by stopping Krebs cycle. As Krebs cycle is stopped, ATP synthesis, because it's a part of cellular respiration, so ATP synthesis would get affected. And cell division requires ATP. So this is an indirect effect by which the cell division would be stopped. <coughs> so these are certain mitotic poisons. Now, as we are talking of substances which stimulate cell division, that is mitotic division, we call them mitogens. There are chemicals which inhibit cell division, which we call them mitotic poisons. Now, a condition that is cancer. What exactly is cancer? We define cancer as uncontrolled cell division. In the previous segment, we talked about the control of mitosis. Mitotic division can get controlled by many things. There are mitogens also. There is surface area to volume ratio. There is nucleus to cytoplasmic mass ratio. These are the things which control the cell division, whether the cell should divide or not. But because of certain substances, which we call carcinogens, the cell loses this control. That means now the cell is not having any kind of control on the division. That means should it stop or not. So in other words, if a carcinogen triggers a cell, then the cell loses the control and it gets in an uncontrolled mode of cell division. And that is the condition which is known as cancer. So there are substances which are known as carcinogens. Carcinogens actually affect the genes and those genes, they are responsible for losing this control. We'll talk about this cancer, proto-oncogenes and oncogenes later on, but carcinogens, we'll write certain examples of carcinogens like benzpyrene. This benz Benzpyrene, it is found in tobacco smoke and it is responsible for causing lung cancer. There is one more chemical which are called aflatoxins. These aflatoxins are obtained from aspergillus, from aspergillus is a fungus and it causes liver cancer. Similarly, there is one more which is called vinyl chloride. And this also causes liver cancer. So there are many, many uh, carcinogens. These are just few to name. So what exactly is a carcinogen doing? It is affecting the cell. Now what exactly is the thing which gets affected? Every cell has to divide by a fixed or for a fixed number of time and when would it stop its division is it controlled by genes is controlled by a surface to volume ratio it con it's controlled by nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio and mitogens any of these things if they get affected by these substances the cell loses the control over its division and that's when it comes into the stage which we call uncontrolled cell division. And if in any given area, the cell is dividing in an uncontrolled manner, it would result into tumor. Except for blood cancer, everywhere else, there are tumor formation. Two types of tumors, malignant and benign, those are uh, the detailed uh, things. Whenever we come to uh, diseases part, we'll talk about cancer in detail. But because we are talking of mitotic division and if that division goes in an uncontrolled manner, the cell goes on dividing to form a tumor, then that condition is known as cancer. So mitosis plays a very important role in growth, repair, regeneration and reproduction in lower organisms like vegetative propagation. But if this division 
loses or the cell loses this control then the same division is also responsible for a condition that is cancer so with this <coughs> sorry we are done with the complete mitotic division we have seen all the stages its significance mitogens that is the substances which stimulate the division the poisons and what can happen if this type of division gets in an uncontrolled mode so from the next segment or next video we'll start with the next division that is meiosis